A young boy who saved his little brother's life during the 2011 floods has been awarded one of the country's highest bravery awards. Jordan Rice's proud father accepted the award on his behalf at a ceremony at Government House. They were the images that summed up the terror of the 2011 floods. Terrified and desperate Queenslanders clinging to anything they could as a ferocious torrent of water swept through Toowoomba. Oh, that is horrible. <gasps> but amidst the horror and shock, schoolboy Jordan Rice, trapped on the roof of his family's car, the teenager who couldn't swim, begged rescuers to take his little brother first. That selfless decision cost Jordan his life. And today, his father accepted one of the country's highest bravery awards on his behalf. It wasn't a case of um, thinking about it, it was just a case of reacting and, and look, I'm very proud, you know, like, of what he did. Two years ago, Jordan was rejected for a bravery award, so John started an online petition. Before long, more than 300,000 people were behind him. It's the chance for me to, I guess, accept something on behalf of the millions of supporters that I've had. More than 120 Queenslanders have received awards here at Government House this week. Some have waited many years for this well-deserved recognition. Like the three police officers shot by Nigel Parodi as they sat in their patrol cars at Chermside 16 years ago and their brave colleague who was first on scene. He put his own safety aside to risk his life to get to me, Chris and Sharnell. I'd do it again tomorrow. Also honoured today, the three officers who rescued an elderly woman during the Bundaberg floods in 2013. Any couple would have done the same thing. We are just there at the right time. Alex Bernhardt, Nine News.